Welcome to a video from the DigitalLifestyle.com, your Windows 11 build to look at. This is 25126 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel, still on separate builds to the Beta Channel, uh, with the Beta being uh, uh, testing 22H2, which is due out later this year, and the Dev Channel sharing features that um, not necessarily tied to any release of uh, Windows 11. Notice the search bar, which I did have on my previous build, has gone. So uh, they did A/B testing, so that's that's gone. So uh, What's new in this bill? Well, actually, there's only a couple of things, and one is around the account uh, information page, the account settings page. So here's my account setting page, and um, what would appear here if you had it would be the um, any perpetual licenses. So if you had an Office license to 2019, something like that, rather than the Office 365 license, that would show up on here. So you only see uh, obviously, I want to see what license you've got, and this is my license, and that's that's what I've got. So, um, this isn't going to go out to everybody straight away, so they're going to monitor feedback. But I, I haven't got any perpetual licenses, so I can't tell whether they've do added that in really. But that was actually the only major change with this build. The rest of the things are mine, I'm afraid. Um, they fixed an issue which some insiders were getting uh, blue screens caused by PCI dosis or green screens as they are and they crash on the on these builds uh, and it would roll back so they fixed that and they've um, fixed an issue with uh, compatibility assistant which was using a large amount of CPUs after after installing. I haven't had any of these issues with the, my old Surface Go here. Um, They've fixed the issue with the touch keyboard which no longer dismiss when you were trying to edit um, a folder so if you're going into a folder like that and edit its title if you're using the touch keyboard then um, it disappear and they fixed some issues with um, Explorer EXE uh, when using search so uh, that's good and um, they fixed some setting issues as well task managers had some fixes uh, Explorer EXE no longer can crash task manager so if Explorer EXE was, was hung it would hang task manager kind of the point of task manager is that you can uh, sort out issues like that uh, you know so if your explorer has crashed then you go into task manager to, to fix it so i'm glad they fixed that uh, they fixed some typos and some performance on graphs on, on the graphs as well and they removed the lock option in, in the start menu on windows sandbox as that didn't work so there is still some known issues actually just the three known issues now some games using anti-cheat software may crash, cause your PC to bug check. That's a bug that did you a few a few builds ago and affected Windows 10 for a while. I seem to remember. Uh, it fixed. There's still an issue with live captions where the captions would not always be visible and they wouldn't appear off the side of the screen. So that's it really with this build. Sorry, I can't show you more features. Um, I know some people uh, don't like the videos when I don't show a lot of features, but I can only show you what Microsoft have, have um, added to this build. But anyway, I like the fixes, especially for Task Manager, that's good. So uh, you can check out um, my video on the YouTube on our YouTube channel with the complete details to watch new in 22H2, which is coming soon as well. So check out that video and all my other Windows 11, Windows 10 and tech videos on our YouTube channel on this slash.com. Thanks for watching.